Welcome back at 545 this Friday morning. Nicole Brady and I are spending the morning at Canvas Stadium ahead of the Rocky Mountain Showdown. We're talking CU versus CSU on the gridiron. One of the hottest rivalries in college football. It right is. Now. Yeah, nationwide attention on this game after last year's uh, double overtime mm. game thriller. Uh, so yeah, a lot of eyeballs will be on this game. You're going to see all the CSU fans were in the green and gold in the stadium this weekend. The CU fans were in the black and gold, but some CU students are hoping that their fellow fans will start incorporating a new t-shirt <laughs> into their rotation. Uh, take a look here. I had a chance to talk with Christopher Schilling. He and his mom are behind the shirts that say we love Miss Peggy once a buff, always a buff. Peggy, of course, is 99-year-old Peggy Coppum, a CU super fan. She has become famous over the years for her undying support of CU athletics. For decades, she cheered alongside her twin sister, Betty Hoover, who sadly passed away in 2020. But Peggy has continued their tradition, and students tell me they just wanted to give back to this woman who they love, they adore. A dollar from every shirt they sell will go to Peggy's family. Why do you guys feel that special affinity? There's a special connection definitely with Miss Peggy and all the younger generation here at Boulder because she's shown that loyalty over the time, supporting our school, supporting our football team, our sports teams, all these things. So with her 100th birthday coming up, it's, we really just want to get back to her, especially because she's given so much to us. Yeah. So Peggy's 100th birthday is November 19th. I checked the schedule. There is a game uh, uh, yeah, at Folsom Field, November 16th against Utah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be great to see all oh. the Buffs fans wearing these shirts and to I give a these. big check to Peggy? I think uh, with the awesome. proceeds from yeah. these shirts, guys. I would love to see that. So if you're interested in buying one, uh, actually, it's really easy. There's a QR code on the back that you oh. just uh, scan. So if you see someone wearing yeah, one of these right. shirts at a game, go. you can scan the QR code. Uh, I just Googled Peggy CU shirts, Peggy Copham shirts. It'll take you right to the page as well there. to purchase a shirt and support uh, this woman who we are so thrilled to see back at every game. Nicole, time this is and so time again. sweet. Yes. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And 100 years, I mean, how cool is it that Peggy has seen a lot of this rivalry? She has. She's true. seen a lot of this rivalry and she is still going strong. I love seeing her face in those stands. Yeah, I, I, we, we do too. Um, we got a lot of Buffs representation on Denver 7's staff here. Guys, uh, <laughs> Lisa, Katie LaSalle, and I are all on the morning team. All of us are CU grads. Nick Rothschild, Daniel Kreuter, and Colette Bordelon also went to CU. Okay, and then we have Jason supporting CSU at the Rocky Mountain Showdown in 2006. Jason didn't go there. I was a bit of a contrarian. But you had to even point. it out for us, Jason. <laughs> even it out. <laughs> yes. my, cause, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because I was uh, yeah, cause my wife, because Gina was in the dance line of the CU band um, when we first met, and so. Yeah, so I had to be a contrarian. Wow, and your hair was black? So you had, well, against yeah. your wife? Sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little older, Wanye. <laughs> this is the only color I know. This was 2006. <laughs> okay. It does look like you colored it there a little yeah, bit. Like it's no, a I did not, it was just that, it was that dark. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we, and we've got a, quite a few Rams here, yes. too. A lot. And my, and my sister-in-law, Gina's sister, went to CSU and mm -hmm. her husband, and so my it's like a family. My husband went to CSU. Yes, yeah, it's wow. a split yeah. family. we got a split family, it's yeah. tough, yeah. <laughs> 